Once upon a time, there was a young monk who was very eager to learn about Zen. He traveled to a faraway monastery to study with a wise old master. The old master was a kind and patient teacher, but he was also very demanding. He would often test the young monk's patience and understanding. One day, the old master served the young monk a cup of tea. The tea was hot and bitter, and the young monk made a face. This tea is terrible, he said. The old master smiled. You are too attached to your own ideas, he said. You must empty your cup before you can learn anything new. The young monk didn't understand what the old master meant. But he knew that the old master was a wise man, so he decided to try to empty his cup. The next day, the old master served the young monk another cup of tea. This time, the young monk took a deep breath and tried to clear his mind. He didn't think about the taste of the tea or about his own ideas. He simply focused on present moment. To his surprise, the tea didn't taste as bitter as it had before. In fact, it was quite delicious. The young monk realized that the old master was right. He had been so attached to his own ideas about what the tea should taste like that he had been unable to enjoy it. From that day on, the young monk made a practice of emptying his cup. He learned to let go of his attachments and to open himself up to new experiences. As he continued to practice, the young monk's understanding of Zen grew deeper and deeper. He eventually became a wise and respected teacher himself. Moral of the story. The story of the empty cup is a reminder that we must be willing to let go of our attachments in order to learn and grow. When we are attached to our own ideas, we are closed off to new experiences and new possibilities. But when we empty our cup, we open ourselves up to the world around us and to the wisdom that is available to us. And if you think this kind of story resonates with you, you can follow or subscribe for more or share this message with everybody. Thank you for stopping by.